Gamers, we're producing lots of items in heaps of different places, and right now I'm just kind of running around and grabbing stuff when I need it, which uh, which sucks. I'm sick of using my legs. So my plan is to set up a giant railway network, destroy and kill any kind of wildlife that might get in the way, and have everything be automatically brought straight to my base. First up, the tracks. Mother of God, they are a pain in the ass to make. So I want to add a second floor onto our factory as a place to make our little automatic factories of sorts. Let's get the ceiling built. Oh my God. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Haven't seen you in a while, mate. Okay, now with our second floor all created, we can get started making our little automatic track factory thing. And so if we look up how to make a track, it is, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a weird process. And I just realized I completely forgot to make a goddamn mechanical press. Oh my god, give me a second. Okay, I've also just gone ahead and routed power up here as well, because uh, obviously we're going to be needing it. And uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and make our little factory over in this corner here. So firstly, we're going to grab our deployer and place it here. Then we're going to uh, leave a gap. And and then we can put our press here. Now, I just realized we're gonna need a belt in between these, so I'm actually probably going to move this all back one so we can make it one higher. Oh. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go. There's the basic setup done. Now we can go ahead and put some belts in between these. And I don't have any belts. My god, dude. What is wrong with me, guys? Can some, like, kind of doctor person in the comments, like, evaluate my situation? Honestly, I think I'm just too far gone at this point. Okay, belts. Bang, bang. Done. Okay, now let's get our brass funnel. We're going to put it there. And then we're going to get our andesite funnel and put it there. Then we're going to do the same thing here and here. And then we need to set these filters here to be our, like, you know, final item. So let's go ahead and place one slab here and one iron nougat into this. And then there we go. That's our uh, incomplete track, you know, the uh, first stage of it. And now we can use that on our brass funnel here for the filter so that only when it's finished, it'll be taken out and put into this one. And so after a lot of rigorous testing, it turns out that this setup sucks absolute ball sack and doesn't work at all. Okay, so after watching a very simple tutorial from a guy named Maya Quests on YouTube, thank you very much for your awesome tutorial. Uh, we basically have a setup that is infinitely better in every single way possible. All we have to do is now just give these guys some uh, stuff, chuck our stack of stone slabs right here, and then, Jesus Christ, look at it. It is beautiful, man. It's perfect. Honestly, I, I just can't believe how simple and easy it is. And I mean, I could make this probably way better if we just put a chest here and had it automatically put stone slabs on, but uh, honestly, I just can't be bothered to do that. I mean, I probably should be because we're going to need a lot of tracks. Yeah, I, honestly, I might actually upgrade this again. Okay, and here is our third and final version of the uh, train track factory. All we need to do now is just chuck some iron nuggets into the... Oh. Jesus, not that. Into this top chest right here. And then just a whole bunch of stone slabs into this chest. And there we go. We now have a fully automatic factory once again. Except this time it is actually automatic. Honestly, I probably should have just done this from the start. I don't know why I didn't. All right. And now with our newfound wealth of tracks, we can now finally start connecting our tracks up to everything that needs to, uh, you know, be connected. So we of course have our lumber mill all the way over there. And then we have our iron farm as well right here. And uh, yep, so those are the two buildings so far that we want to connect up all the way to our train station here. But now it is time to get our uh, track situation here sorted out at least. All right, so we're going to have to remove part of the land here at the beginning at least. Yeah, we need to go all the way. Actually, no, we can just go to here. And now a neat little feature that I didn't realize as well, if we actually put, uh, you know, a block in our offhand and then go to place this, it'll actually place those blocks underneath the tracks automatically. Or so I thought. I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't it work? What the hell? Look at that. Materials in the offhand will be paved under under the tracks automatically. Maybe it's only if it's in the air, like if it's actually replacing a block that's already there, it might not work. Actually, train tracks are usually normally raised one off the ground, aren't they? So I reckon we'd be fine with actually raising all of this up. There we go. Okay, so it is actually placing the blocks underneath. All right, so for this area, at least, I think I want to keep it flat on the ground. And then maybe once we loop it up and start going over that way, then we'll actually just raise it up by a block. So let's get our curve put in place here and I'll just replace the blocks later. Uh, just don't worry about it. And let's extend this one out a bit further as well. I don't exactly know. Okay, like that. We actually got it perfect. What the hell? That's sweet. Now we should be able to link this up over this way to this track. Bang. And yes, there we go. There is our system uh, kind of set up. So the plan is to have the train, you know, on just one track that's going to go throughout everywhere and it's going to come in here and drop off stuff, loop back around and then go on its merry way to the other places. I think what I'm going to do now is actually just extend this foundation out to uh, accompany our new tracks here. So I'll just do that, of course, as a time lapse and I'll also so probably just start, you know, start making the rails as well. So yeah, let's get started. All 
Alright, we are now back at base because we can't really continue building our train station stuff because we need to get the train actually built first so that we know, like, you know, the positions of stuff. So, yeah. To make the train, we, of course, need train stations. And to make two of these, we need a compass, easy enough, and then something called a train casing. And this needs sturdy sheets and a brass casing. Brass casing, easy enough to make, but sturdy sheets is uh, a bit of a process. So we need powdered obsidian, which I did make one. Yeah, there we go. We got three, actually. And then we need to feed it through this process here. We have a spout and then it needs to get pressed twice, I guess. So let's see how to make a spout real quick. Hopefully it's not too hard. Okay, copper casing and a dried kelp. Bang and the bang. There's our spout. Let's grab our fluid pipes. We've got our pump. We've got our tank and we have our spout as well. Okay, I'm going to head down here and just grab a few buckets of lava. All right, so we should be able to maybe add it like right here. Let's simply just place a tank here. Let's put the pump here instead and then we'll do that. There we go. That's working now. So of course, I forgot my freaking stuff to power it with. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh. All right, there we go. Our thing is uh, all powered up. Let's go ahead and uh, hopefully we can actually just... No, oh, okay. <laughs> How do I get crap into the tank, man? You can use basins, item drains, or spouts. Okay, so we need that and then another pump to fill that to then fill this. Brother. Okay, so let's just place the item drain here and then we'll have our pump going from that into the tank. Let's just power that with our uh, cogs over here and there we go. Now we should be able to, I guess, just right click with lava. Yes, and it's now pumping and going straight into the spout. Hell yeah, that is awesome, dude. We should now be able to just place our powdered obsidian directly under this spout and get our uh, product that we're needing, which is uh, whatever that thing is. Unprocessed obsidian sheet. Oh my god, that used all of the lava. Okay, now with our three unprocessed obsidian sheets, we should now just be able to place these under here. It should get stamped twice. And there we go. We now have our sturdy sheets. Let's just go ahead and uh, process all three of these while we're at it. Okay, here's our stripped logs and our brass ingots. Let's turn those into some brass casings. Then to turn that into train casings, we're going to put those back on there, give our sturdy sheets to our deployer, and bang, there we go. And now to make the train stations, it's simply just these and our compasses. And bang, there we go. We now have six train stations. Now what we can go ahead and do is place this over at our actual train station. So we need to set the block that uh, the end of the train station is going to be at, which I want to be right here. And then we'll just put our actual train station, uh, I don't know, there, I guess. And now what we can go ahead and do is right click our train station and click on create new train. And yes, yeah, so now we can actually make a train, which is awesome, dude. So we need to use a train casing on a highlighted track to create bogies. Bogies are like just the wheels, basically, and we can build on top of those. So uh, that means we actually need to make more of these. Oh my god. Okay, I am now back with a whole bunch of train casings and some other stuff as well that we'll be needing to actually build the train. So first up, we're going to go ahead and right click this little blue section of track here with our train casing to build our first bogey. And then we can actually just build stuff on top of this. So firstly, we're going to place a couple of slabs on this and then one of our crushing wheels here, then we're going to remove this and then place the rest of them like this. And this is going to be like the, uh, I don't know what the, it's called in the, in the train, but I mean, <laughs> you'll get what I'm building here in just a second. Next along the side here, let's place some stairs, not like that. Uh, I want them to be like this. There we go. Let's add a slab maybe here, here, and then we'll do the same on the other side here. Now to decorate this front area, I have two of these gray valve handles. Uh, I don't exactly know what they're used for. I mean, we can have a look here. That's cool. We can actually precisely rotate things with that. That's actually pretty useful for like doors and stuff. Well, uh, yeah, that's not what we're using it for here. We're using it for uh, a little front decoration. <laughs> so on top here, we're going to place our smart shoot and then our regular shoot. And then behind here, we're going to place three more regular shoot. Oh, not like that. What the hell? And yeah, so that's like our front. Uh, once again, I don't know <laughs> what it's called. Oh, Jesus, man. It's like where the guy rides is going to be here. And that's like the engine, I guess. It's yeah, it's probably the engine. That makes sense. Unless if it isn't the engine and then I'm just an idiot. Okay, next we're going to make the actual carriage part where, uh, you know, our little conductor guy is going to be in. So let's raise this up a little bit. These are going to be like the side pillar areas. Then we need to, of course, add a roof on here. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking like a carriage, I guess. Then I actually completely forgot. We need to make a seat, which is, uh, well, that is very easy. Just wall and a slab. Okay, let's go make that. Okay, there's our seat done. And we also need something called train controls. This is how we're going to actually, you know, use the train. So we need a train casing, a lever, and then one of these, a precision mechanism, which I have not made yet. And it looks like it is pretty easy. We just need a golden sheet, a small and a large cogwheel, and then an iron nugget. So I'm going to grab all of those things real quick right now. Now. Okay, there is our golden sheet. We're going to put that here and then we're going to first give it a cogwheel, next a large cogwheel, and then finally an iron nugget and bang, there we go. We have our, wait, 
What the hell? Progress three out of 15? Huh? I'm so confused right now. What the hell? Five times? Jesus Christ, dude. And it only has an 80% chance as well. It's not even 100%. God, what the hell is this crap? I was just I was just thinking about how like nice it is having like easy things to build in this mod. And then we get that goddamn curveball just thrown straight at our freaking foreheads, man. What the hell? Okay, well, I'm gonna get all of this crap done. Uh, yeah, right now. Okay, here's the moment of truth. There's a 20% chance this fails. Oh... My god, you're kidding me, dude. It actually... F f sake, man. I knew- I, I just knew it was gonna happen as well. Now I have to go make another one. Oh, dude, I'm gonna... I'm about to lose it. Okay, attempt number two, please. Oh, thank Christ for that. We also got an achievement. Assemble a precision mechanism. Hell yeah, boys. We are absolutely achieving out here. Train casing, lever, mechanism, done. There's our train controls and our seat, all done. Let's go chuck them into the train. Bang and bang. Okay, so yeah, now we can take a seat and we can use this when it works. I guess when we actually make the train, it'll probably work, you know, that makes sense. Next, we of course need to seal off this uh, carriage here. So let's add Add some copycat panels and then maybe a door beside it here. Put our door there and that'll open nicely. Hell yes. And then next what would look nice here is just a brass casing and some glass. Hell yeah. That's a nice little carriage thing. All done. Well, actually, it's not all done. We still need to do this side here. Okay, and so to finish up this wall, let's just place two more of them and then two more windows. And uh, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Also, I don't really know what I want to do with here. Maybe let's just do that. I don't know. That looks kind of trainy. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> then because this area is actually going to be one off of the ground, I think it would be cool to have a ladder maybe here. And then we could put some of our copycat panels here as like a little walkway. Fill them, of course, with some of the polished deep slate. Now we can, uh, you know, jump onto the train with this and walk across into our little carriage here. Next, let's go ahead and place our another bogey right there. So there's our front carriage part pretty much done. Now it's time for the actual, uh, you know, carriages that are going to be holding all of our crap. So let's grab out the train casings again. We're going to place this one two blocks in between, and then we'll start our actual carriage like this. So that way we'll have like this little walkway between our things. We can also have ample room to place our doodads as well. Now I'm just going to surround this entire thing with more of these copycat steps. So just give me a second. Okay, and now for the actual, uh, you know, walls of the carriage here. We're going to be using our copycat panels once again. And I think a nice pattern would be maybe some alternating stone bricks and stone like this. And I'm just going to repeat this real quick around every single side here. So uh, yeah, just uh, give me a second. Okay, and there we go. That's our carriage built. I also went ahead and added this little lip around the place with the whatever the blocks called uh, deep slate so now on the inside here my plan is to add in a big old item vault actually it's not going to be very big it's only going to be a uh, small baby one like this and then i want to go ahead and cover the top of this so it looks like it's a big like you know carriage full of wood i guess so i'm just going to add a bunch of logs here and because yeah this obviously looks weird just having like fully freaking <laughs> logs like this like that yes that looks cool then i want to actually go ahead and change some of these to oak logs as well Let's do that, and then maybe these three as well. Next, for some added detail, let's uh, chuck some rails, of course, on this bad boy. Uh, let's go maybe actually here. Oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. Next, let's cover up the gaps here with some spruce slabs. We'll go maybe like that and like that. That looks kind of cool, even though that's probably never going to be seen. Oh, actually, what would look nice is putting a campfire in maybe one of those spots. We'll also add some campfires up along here and maybe some slabs too. And then we'll put another one. Oh, Jesus Christ. And hell yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. A nice little uh, pile of logs. Also, my game is running incredibly slow. I don't know if it's because of the train or because of all these factories, but yeah, it kind of sucks at the moment. So I honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't want to turn off the shaders because life just sucks without them, dude. <laughs> okay, and so that is uh, almost our first carriage done. We actually need to add in a way for our vault in here to take in items and export items, I guess. I don't really know how else to explain it. But uh, yeah, for that, we have our portable storage interfaces here. Similar things that we used over in our, uh, you know, other moving farms and stuff. And right now that does look kind of weird. So I think a way to make it look maybe better is to get some stairs. Let me go make some real quick. And maybe just something like that. Yeah, that looks better. It looks like it's actually like kind of attached to the train, I guess. So yeah, this is how we're going to be inputting and outputting items from the uh, vault on the inside there. And now for the last thing for our train, I want to add one more little section for now. We will probably be adding a third one eventually. But right now we only have logs and iron that we need to collect. And so I'll probably add a third carriage later once we add some more factories everywhere, I guess. And so, yeah, this isn't going to be anything too crazy. I'm probably just going to maybe add some, like, iron blocks and random, like, iron stuff on the top. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to get that done as a real quick time lapse, starting right now.
Okay, and there's our train uh, basically finished. Uh, as you can see over here, I also use this really cool detail, which I actually really love, is using these copycat steps as sort of like smaller versions of the blocks, I guess. And I feel like it would actually look pretty cool over here on our log one as well. So I think uh, let's lower that one a bit and then let's add a log in like that. That looks cool, dude. Let's also maybe add some logs up here too. Dude, hell yeah, that is actually awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, that's almost everything done. All we need to do now is actually glue everything together because right now if we were to go uh, assemble train uh, it would literally just be these little bogey things that we placed and uh, everything is probably just going to be sitting in place so yeah we need to uh, meticulously go through and like just super glue everything to this goddamn train okay so yeah I'm gonna go and do this and yeah it's probably gonna take a while okay gamers it is now the moment of truth as you can see everything is connected up um, well yeah hopefully so now what it is time to do is to drive our train and see if we <laughs> left anything behind. So, uh, well, actually, first we need to go over to our train station and we need to click assemble train and pray that it works. Yes, there we go. Oh, the frame rate is back to normal. That is so nice. Hell yes, dude. Okay, so as you can see, our controls here are actually working. We can sit in our seat. We can right click the controls and now we are driving our train. We're going to hold W and start driving. Hello? It's not working. Okay, there we go. We're driving. Oh my God. Look at it go. It's beautiful. Oh, Okay, we left an entire wall behind. Um, back it up, back it up, boys. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, what we can do now is just hold space to approach our little station. Now we can get out of our seat, and then we can actually go ahead and just click on disassemble train again. And then it was this wall all the way at the back here. Ah, that's why. It's because uh, it wasn't attached. <laughs> okay, it is now attached to the train. I'm going to uh, go to sleep real quick. Now, it's time again to jump into the train. Please tell me it is everything is connected. Jesus, man. Yes, we haven't left anything behind. Our train is working. Yes, dude, that is awesome. All right, well, I'm actually going to uh, reverse this back to the station. I just wanted to do that to make sure we didn't leave anything behind because we actually need to go and uh, change up our station that we made over at the mill, actually, because, uh, yeah, I realized I kind of screwed it up a little bit. And I'm going to grab some tracks and head over to the lumber mill. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, here we are back at the lumber mill. Uh, yeah, so what I want to do is actually have this uh, little rail here kind of branch off over this way and then I want it to loop around into this rail here so that our train is going to be facing this way when it's parked so that we can load our wood on to the little carriages here and then our train will go back on its merry way back to the base. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just extend this stone and stone brick platform a bunch out to the left here. I'm going to add in our rails and make that loop that I just mentioned. Uh, so yeah, let's of course just do that real quick right right now. Okay, and with our lumber mill station all done, we are now back at the base at our train, ready to go on a journey over to our brand new lumber mill. Let's take a seat, control the train, and get started. Oh my god, it's kind of quick. Jesus Christ. There's the lumber mill, and we're going to come to a slow halt at our station. So, here we are at the lumber mill station. And yes, our little thingies, ah, oh, thank god that is not blocked by the pole. I would have been very upset if that was blocked. But hell yeah, there we go. We're now arrived at our secondary station here. I actually added this in and called it uh, lumber mill as well. We should also name the train. I didn't realize we could actually do that. Let's just call it the main train. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> kind of sounds like a, uh, a body part or like a part of a body part that... Um, yeah, okay, I'm not. I'm just not going to get any more into that. All right, so now what we need to do is uh, head into our uh, factory here, or our lumber mill, I should probably call it, and we need to set some stuff up because what I want to go ahead and do is actually link up these chests here over to our train, of course. I do still want to have these chests here because... I don't know, honestly. I mean, should I even just still have these here? I don't know. Okay, we're going to get rid of the chests and, uh, yeah... <laughs> Oh my god, stop. No. <laughs> it's just an endless loop. Look at it go. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we're going to stop that there. Uh, that's enough of the funny business, all right? All right, so we need to grab our portable storage interface here. And we need to have it, of course, hook up to this one right there. There we go. So they're linked up now. And we're going to have a belt that will come up and into there. Then we're going to have this belt go over to here. And now we'll probably just head back inside and figure it out from that end. Okay, so what we're actually going to do to get this in the right spot is put a chest here uh, just to make things easier. So we're going to have a funnel that goes into this chest. Oh, 
I did not mean to place that. Uh, and then another funnel here to take out because, uh, yeah, we can't turn that corner with a belt annoyingly enough. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay, we're gonna have to remove this, unfortunately, but um, yeah, that's okay. Now, one thing that I feel might actually be kind of useful is having like a little buffer. I don't know if it's actually going to be useful, but uh, I just want it anyway in case if I, uh, for any reason, wanted to come down here and grab some wood. So let's put a chest here and then we'll have a funnel here and a funnel here. And that way uh, our wood is just going to... Uh, Oops, oh my god. So that way our wood is going to keep continuously coming down this way into this chest. This chest will fill up and then it'll start bringing items out and onto the train here. Okay, and so now the last thing to do is uh, get all of these belts goddamn powered. <laughs> okay, and there we go. There's everything hooked up and powered. Our storage is now feeding out from this chest here. It's, uh, you know, it's just been accumulating there for a little bit and uh, it's actually going into our train storage, which is pretty cool. And I, I just remembered we actually have these, uh, oh my god, dude, I keep doing that. We have our stripped logs in these chests here, which, uh, yeah, I completely forgot about. So I think what I want to go ahead and do is actually link this up to this chest over here as well. We're just going to have two of our funnels here feeding onto the same belt and going into this chest once again. So yeah, we now have our stripped logs going into this chest, our regular logs as well, of course, and that's all feeding into our train. I think actually we should probably get a brass funnel for this so that we're extracting full stacks instead of single items. That is going to make loading and unloading this train a whole lot easier. So yeah, I'm going to uh, take... Uh, this is probably the third or fourth trip now back to base. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back with the brass funnels. Let's go ahead and put it right here. And there we go. We should now be extracting stacks. Yes, everything is just instantly gone. That is so much better. Holy crap. And yeah, so that's pretty much the lumber mill setup done for our train here. Now what we need to go ahead and do is link up our iron factory over yonder. So let's take a real quick train ride over in uh, that kind of general direction. Okay, so probably right about here is where we're going to branch off over to the iron farm. Off of here, or oh, probably, yeah, somewhere here, we'll uh, curve off over this way, and we'll just go straight down over here, and we'll probably make our loop over on this side of the factory. It'll loop around, and then we'll just offload all of our iron into our uh, other carriage. So yeah, I'm gonna get all of that done as a very quick time lapse once again, right now. Okay, and there we go. There's our iron factory train station all built. I mean, I do plan on, uh, you know, adding some actual details in here and uh, cleaning up this stuff, but it's, uh, you know, it's functional. I will come back and detail all of this, trust me. And the lumber mill too. But for now, I just want to get this uh, working, I guess. So let's grab our other portable storage interface here, and we're going to line this up, chuck it on top of that. And there we go, that is linked up. Uh, it's a little bit off, but... It <laughs> should be fine. And uh, yeah, as you can see, unfortunately, I had to uh, make the train, you know, park over here on the bend. And I'm not really a fan of it, but I think I'd much prefer this than having to uh, extend this rail all the way out here. And yeah, so now let's link up our portable storage interface here to our output chest of iron uh, ingots here. And so to do this, uh, yeah, honestly, I... Uh... I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I think that's going to be the easiest way. So let's go ahead and just uh, remove this stuff. Then let's remove part of the wall as well. All right. And yeah, now our train is getting loaded with some iron ingots. Hell yeah, dude. That is awesome. But yeah, there we go. There's our iron setup all done. And that means functionally our train is now, you know, it's ready to be automated. And uh, yeah, it's time to figure out how to do that. <laughs> okay. So to get our train automated, we need something called a train schedule. And to make this, we need a uh, simply a piece of paper and then one of these sturdy sheet things again. So I've got my crushed obsidian here. We're gonna head up to this bad boy. We're gonna dump a lava bucket in there and then chuck our uh, thing on there. And we've got our uh, thing. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm really, I'm, I'm on it today, dude. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna stamp this twice to make it into a sturdy sheet. And then we're gonna combine it with our paper and bang, we actually get four train schedules. Jesus Christ, okay. So yeah, this train schedule is how we're going to automate our train and get it to, uh, you know, go to every destination we've set, pick up items and then come back here and drop them off. And to set that all up, we're just going to right click here and we are introduced to this little interface where we can add actions. We're going to set it to Iron Factory. Bang. Now we have a lot of ways that use it. We can make it so it departs at a certain time of day. You can see the whole list there. But yeah, just to simplify things, I'm just going to make it so that it waits for a certain amount of time. I'm just going to set that to let's go with 30 seconds. That seems like a decent time. And so from there, it's going to now travel to our lumber mill. So yeah, lumber mill, Iron Factory, and then finally the 
home base here. So yeah, there we go. There's our train schedule all set up. And now what we need to do is we actually need to find someone to be our train conductor. Or oh, we've got some chickens here. A chicken would be a pretty cute conductor. I was thinking of giving Frank a promotion, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. He's just such a good factory supervisor. I think he's just suited to that job. So we're going to hire a chicken boy here. Once again, we might as well give him a name. So feel free to leave comments with any uh, of your name suggestions for our chicken train conductor here. We're going to get him up in the train and uh, I believe we can just right click the seat and put him straight into the train. Uh, there we go. And so now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, pretty much just right click the train schedule on him and that should start the train up. So yeah, let's uh, give it a test. Bang. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is kind of scary. Uh, I thought this was going to be a lot, a lot safer than... <laughs> oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> I kind of wanted to just travel along with this to make sure it works, but I feel like we're probably going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I probably should have added another seat somewhere. I thought we would have been more stable than this. Oh my god. Okay, we're arriving at the station, and now start the timer. We should be waiting here for 30 seconds. Unloading all of our wood straight into the uh, thingamajig. I'm going to get back in here because I'm kind of scared. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anywhere to sit, so... Okay, we should be nearing on 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it seems like it's working. We're now off to the iron factory. I'll meet you guys there. All right, here we are at the iron factory, unloading all of the juice. I don't know how much is uh, actually getting stored in here. Okay, it looks like we might actually have to add some brass funnels back to this because that is going to be quite slow. Let's actually quickly do that and that. There we go. Now we're unloading stacks at a time. We just don't need one for there. Okay, let me quickly get back on the train before it depart. <gasps> no! No! Okay, we might be able to beat it there. Probably not. Uh, Jesus Christ, look at it go. Jesus Christ, look at it go. Oh my God, we're not going to beat it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's working perfectly. It's arrived... Oh my God, how many times am I going to do that this episode, man? But yeah, there we go. It has arrived. Now what we need to do is set up our uh, actual unloading system. And uh, I kind of want to take that away from that guy. There we go. Okay, so that's cool. We can actually just straight up uh, turn it off. We obviously need to set up our system for, you know, unloading and putting it into a, uh, a big storage facility, which is actually what I plan on doing in the next episode. I want to add a massive storage warehouse, like probably here, I guess. I do need to plan it out a little bit, um, but we do have a pretty nice area here. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do next is actually decorate decorate our lumber mill station and our iron factory train station over there and just, uh, you know, beautify it because uh, they're kind of ugly at the moment. So yeah, let's go ahead and get those started right now. Okay, now with all of that crap done, it is now time to set up a just a temporary little system to pull our items out of our train just because that, uh, you know, I kind of want to have access to them. So let's have our little portable storage uh, interface thing here. Then we'll have a brass funnel at the back of it to pull the items out of the train. Then I want to have a chute with a chest because I can't be bothered setting up any kind of belt stuff here. So <laughs> I'm just going to put a thing here and then uh, we'll get rid of the floor and just, yeah, we'll put our chest in here. And yeah, so there we go. It's just taken all of the items out of the train. Um, some of it's still kind of getting messed up here. What the hell? Obviously, eventually we will have this routed up to a nice kind of storage warehouse facility thing. But uh, yeah, we're kind of running out of time for this episode. It's already probably like about 20 something minutes long. I don't know. Actually, I wonder if we can just put a chute straight into a chest. Uh, okay, it doesn't pull out stacks at a time, but that's fine. Oh, there's my lantern from like ages ago. <laughs> now what we can do is actually just go ahead and give our train schedule back to our little chicken boy here. Oh, he's even laid an egg for us. Is he going to give us a baby? Nah, not, not this time. Uh, that's okay. Let's give him the schedule and send him off again. But yeah, that's the main stuff of this episode done. Now it is time to build some of your guys' suggested comments from the previous episode. Starting off, we have a comment from uh, two people, actually, and they said you can right-click an existing rail with stone and uh, that it looks cool and looks nicer. Now, I don't know. I, I feel like those comments are just kind of trolling me because... Um yeah, so I'm just going to grab some other rails to test it out on because, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to destroy everything for some reason. And, I don't know, I'm just kind of scared. I, mean, I don't know why I don't trust you guys. Um, there's probably some, like, deep-rooted subconscious reason why, uh, but yeah. <laughs> so let's place a rail and right-click it with a stone block. Um, it's... Wow, uh, it doesn't work. Okay, well, one guy said stone and another guy said a stone slab. So let's try a stone slab. Oh, it actually, it looks like our train is working as well because it's, uh, it's gone. And place the slab. And place the slab. You guys are full of shit. 
I don't know. It's not working. I trusted you and it's not working. Well, I didn't really trust you, but I was kind of looking forward to my rails looking cooler, but honestly, they do look pretty cool already. So I'm fine with that. Okay. And so the next comment suggests to add a smokestack onto the second building, which uh, they're talking about these buildings and the second one being this one, I'm assuming, which uh, yeah, it already does kind of have a smokestack here. And uh, yeah, we should probably just actually add some campfires into that to make it look nicer. So I'm going to go make a couple and uh, I'll meet you guys up there. Okay. Here we are on top of the second building and I just realized I I forgot hay bales. Um, yeah, that would be a really nice addition. Okay, I'm back with hay bales. And then on top of those, we're going to place some campfires so that, uh, you know, the smoke goes higher. And yeah, there we go. We kind of have a, a big smoke stack now. There's actually smoke coming out of this big thing, which, um, yeah, that would have been really cool to add in that episode, actually. But uh, yeah, moving on, <laughs> we need to cover up this uh, weird exposed little area that we've created now with the hay bales and uh, this thing. We're going to have to actually remove this little lip and replace it instead with some copycat panels like this, which, uh, yeah, it still looks fine. Uh, it's all right. And yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty cool. I like that. Uh, you can kind of see on the left side here, all the smoke's just getting bunched up under those stairs. Um, I mean, oh well, it is what it is, okay? But yeah, that's a nice little aesthetic detail. I really love that. So thank you very much for that idea. The next comment suggests to upgrade our little mine entrance here, which uh, yeah, we're definitely overdue for an upgrade for this. And now I actually do really like the uh, the shape and the design of this, except for the fact that it's made of cobblestone. So let's just uh, go ahead and completely remove this entire thing real quick. Okay, and there we go. There's the mine all upgraded. Uh, now, the reason I didn't go... Uh, you know, too crazy with this is because I do have some pretty awesome mine related plans in an episode in the very near future. So uh, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for that. But I think this is definitely a pretty nice upgrade from what we had. And it uses a lot of the uh, interesting little copycat step blocks. And uh, yeah, I just try to make it look, uh, you know, as cool as I could, I guess. The next idea someone gave was to add like a little garden or a park here in this space in between the train tracks. Now, while I really do love that idea, I think it would look awesome. I just don't think it's going to fit the vibe that I'm kind of going for. I really want this to be like an industrial focused city, I guess. And I spent like probably 10 minutes just trying to think of another idea of something to put here and I just can't think of anything. So I want to leave this one up to you guys and uh, maybe we'll get around to this one in the next episode. So yeah, thank you so much for that idea. I love it, but yeah, maybe something more industrial focused I think would work pretty well here. The next idea is actually uh, my own idea, I guess. <laughs> it's just a quick little thing that I want to do that I honestly completely forgot to do in the last episode, which is actually connect up our pathway here over to our other pathway over yonder. And so I'm just going to, yep, do this up real quick right now. All right. And there we go. There's our new pathway added in. I just added some slabs here that go all the way down and lead down to our other pathway as well. And that you also might've noticed I've added a bunch of new lanterns around the place and some grass and flowers and stuff around the place as well. Uh, you know, I, I just figured it was time to spruce it up a little bit. I also connected our pathway all the way up over here to our animal farms. And yeah, so once again, if you have a cool idea, be sure to leave it down in the comments of this video and I might get around to building it in the next one. Also for the download of this episode, I'll probably just provide the actual train download itself because uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys don't want to download of like the entire rail network and like the little train stations. I might just throw the train stations in there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.